think there's a lot of again misconceptions out there that it's all about just being clean or it's all about just you know this and that's actually very offensive to people who might struggle with OCD because because it can be so many different things it is very debilitating it can feel like a panic attack almost like your anxiety gets very high because these obsessions won't go away it's like thinking about one thing and no matter what you do that that thought won't go away and so you're faced with such high anxiety that sometimes these compulsions do become automatic that I do have to do this because I just I can't handle the anxiety um, you know, and I think one of the part of the question is also like versus somebody who, who might be in re recovery for it is, is that they're able to, to acknowledge the thoughts. The goal is not to make these thoughts go away. The goal is also not to reduce our anxiety. The goal is to sit with the anxiety. And people who are in recovery of it, yep, the thought might come. You know, that, that, that thought of, you know, am I unclean? Am I good enough? Maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm going to sit with that because that is the point and I'm going to let the anxiety come in and I might do some mindfulness, I might sit with it, do some breathing and let the anxiety be there and say thank you, thank you for coming into my mind. The key here to understand is that no one person is their thoughts. I can think whatever I want, it doesn't say anything about my character. right? I can have any sort of thoughts in my mind but this does not say anything about me. As I said before, everybody has intrusive thoughts. I'm walking down the street, something might pop into my head. The difference is for people who might struggle with obsessive compulsive disorder, that thought isn't going to go away. 